So what's going on? When you do something like assign the variables a and b to a list like 1, 2, and 3, Python expects the number of variables on the left to exactly match the number of values on the right. Too many values? Error. Not enough values? Also an error. No guessing, no skipping, no filling in blanks. It's a strict one-to-one -one matchup. This rule applies to whether you're unpacking lists, tuples, sets, or even a function that returns multiple values. So to be clear, this works. We assign two variables, a and b, to a list with two items. However, this doesn't work. a and b assigned to a list with three items. And neither does this. a, b, and my personal favorite, c, assigned to a list with two items. Great, so how do you fix this? Let's go back to that longer list with three values, one, two, and three. If you still want to unpack it, but don't know how many values you'll get, you can use the star operator. Check this out. We assign our list with three values to a, b, and the variable called rest with the star operator. And the result, a is one, b is two, and rest is a list with one element, in this case, three. Python takes whatever's left over and bundles it into the list called rest. It's called starred unpacking and it's super handy. But what if there are no extras like this? a is one, b is two, and my BFFC is just an empty list. No crash, no error, it still works. Another option just to keep things interesting, you can slice the list. So what's going on here? That bracket colon two is called slicing. It says, give me everything from the start up to, but not including index two. So it grabs the first two elements. Then we're unpacking those two values into A and B. But most of the time, star rest is the cleanest fix when your list might grow or shrink.